Hey ladies, it's Alexa here. I just wanted to share with you a new way of prepping your nails for your January nail wraps or lacquer. Either way, it's a great way to keep your nails healthy and your cuticles pushed back. So today we are going to be talking about two new products in the spring summer catalog. By the way, if you don't have one yet and you want one, please contact me. I'd be happy to send you one. And um, they are our nail prep cleanser as well as our cuticle remover from Janberry. I am so excited about both of these products. I've been wishing for it, this one at least because I use um, cuticle remover constantly. So what you're going to want to do is push back your cuticles like normal. So take your cuticle pusher. And um, one of the things that I want to talk about and emphasize here is that when you push your cuticles back, you're not just pushing back this part. You want to push back the sides too because those sides can get also um, get that invisible cuticle. So what you're going to want to do is push back. Just get really good. And what you're going to want to do is take your cuticle remover, open that baby up, give it a twist, and apply around your nail cuticle area. Now a lot of people say, well, I pushed back my cuticles, isn't that enough? And you know, for some people it may be enough, but for people like me, it's not. You generally need to actually remove that invisible cuticle because I have it and when I have it, it still gets oil underneath the wrap. So you wanna do everything you can to make sure you have a great application and that means removing those invisible cuticles. And on top of that, it also makes your nails a little bit more healthy too to keep them well maintained. So you're going to want to keep this um, remover on your nails. I usually do the whole hand at the same time, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just doing the one finger. For up to two to three minutes. You don't want to go any longer than that. Um, and what you're going to need is either a wooden uh, orange stick slash cuticle pusher or a cuticle spoon that you can get from any place like Sally's or any other beauty shop. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is take the spoon and just kind of a little bit of pressure. You don't wanna press too much, cause, but like I said, you wanna get those sides too. So start from the top and go down. And what you will see is a little bit of Mm, basically your invisible cuticle. So you no longer have that on there. What you're going to do immediately after you remove your cuticles though is to wash your hands with warm water and soap. So I will be right back. So I am back, my lovelies, and the cuticle has been removed, and it is now ready to use some of our prep solution. What you're going to want to do is take, open it up, put the cotton ball on the dish, pump once or twice, whatever your preference may be, and then just get it in there. Wipe it on the nail. A little bit will go a long way, so one or two pumps is enough for both hands. I'm just doing it this way for demonstration purposes. So as you can see, nice and cleanse. But I still like to use a swab of alcohol afterwards just to ensure that I do have all chemicals and oils removed from my fingers. I really want a good lasting wrap. So there you go. So and then if you're like me and have rich nails, take your buffer block, buff a little bit. You don't need to do a lot of buffing, just a quick one, two, three, four. And then I like to do it again just one more time. Again, I don't want any oils on my nails before I apply my wraps. So I am sure you have a great consultant. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask her. However, if you don't have a consultant, please feel free to contact me and I'd be happy to answer all your questions and
check out my website below so you can check out all of our designs and awesome hand and nail care products. I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video and have a great night.